Steve Ellis, manager, fuel cell vehicle sales and marketing, American Honda Motor Company. How do you how do you have a fuel cell vehicle on the road? Everyone else is saying they're going to have one in ten or twenty years. I think it started with uh, the city of Los Angeles in December of uh, 02 when we announced that kind of first ever lease of a fuel cell vehicle or kind of a consummated sale of a car uh, to a customer. And so while it was a fleet, we deployed those five cars. We got lots of good feedback and information from them. It gave us confidence. We weren't sure at that time even what the maintenance intervals should be. And uh, at the outset, we thought maybe that was going to be three months. And, you know, that's not like a regular gasoline car. But we learned with time that we could move that out to six months. So there's one example of a great learning. Um, then that gave us the confidence to lease a car to a retail consumer, an individual. And we looked and we found John Spilino. And what we got was John and Sandy Spilino and the kids. And uh, I put it that way because they both have operated the vehicle on a day-to-day -day basis and find it very satisfying for them. And these are just some folks that started using your vehicle. We did, and, and I had coined this phrase that a driver of a Civic GX natural gas vehicle is like an apprentice for fuel cell vehicles tomorrow because they've already learned to live with high pressure onboard storage, limited station network, and a refueling process different from gasoline. Well, refueling a hydrogen vehicle is identical to refueling a CNG vehicle. So we looked for, uh, looked in our database of natural gas vehicle drivers, and that was John Spilino. We then swung the pendulum to the opposite side and chose Corianka Kilcher, the actress who played Pocahontas in the movie A New World, who was 17 years, years old, didn't have her driver's license, and literally took her driver's license test in the FCX, then leased the car. How cool is that? Yeah. So here's a person that had, you know, essentially no experience with refueling vehicles other than, you know, money. And so the experience with her, and we've gained valuable feedback from both of them, um, and I say both, but the Spolino family plus uh, Koryanka, and uh, we see the differences. We hear the differences. You know, Koryanka, as any young teen would do, is looking for reasons to go drive, you know. Uh, Mom, can I go to the store and do this, or I'll go do that. Um, John uh, used it for commuting on his job. And, and so, how far did he have to commute? Uh, he had just right about a 35 to 40 mile commute each way. So this new car, the FCX, uh, oh sorry, the Clarity, how many miles does it get before you have to refuel it? So this is a, a major step forward, so I think that's the basis of your question, how did we get here? We got here through the experience of our previous work. Now this car represents kind of the fruit of all that effort. 270 mile range, mostly through advanced design and efficiency. Yeah, your center, your center uh, stack is just beautiful. I love that idea. It, exactly, and the efficiency of the stack itself plus all of the powertrain components. One way to, one thing that really puts that into clarity, no pun intended, <laughs> is that when we delivered those cars to the city of, city of Los Angeles, they had a 170 mile EPA rated range. Okay. With this car, it's 270 and we've only added 10% more fuel. So we've gained 100 miles in range since that time. What does it work out to per gallon? Um, as far as uh, hydrogen goes, you measure it in kilograms. So when we think about a gallon, we would say a kilogram of hydrogen. So one kilogram is equivalent to a gallon of gas. Uh, so the vehicle holds pretty close to four kilograms of hydrogen. That's like four gallons. When you talk about fuel economy, it's miles per kilogram, and this car gets 68 miles per kilogram.